Thank you very much, Mr. Ceremonies. Excellency. Excellency, Mr. Nevis Snack and Lady Snack, my colleagues from the St. Lucia Labour Party, let me recognize Murray and Felicia, friends, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a long and difficult journey. One that began when a child born to Ogis, a policeman, and Evelyn, a teacher. This child grew to be a man, always underestimated, sometimes ridiculed as a stutterer. But only this child knew that with the help of God, patience, dedication, and hard work, he would one day rise to be able to serve his people with love and humility. I, th I thank God for carrying me thus far. I shall require divine intervention and guidance in the coming days and grace in fulfilling the hopes and aspirations for the people of St. Lucia. I want to thank the people of St. Lucia and especially my constituents of Castries East for <clears throat> for their support and show of confidence to allow me, after 25 years of representation, to lead the country over the next five years. I want to thank my family. At uh, this time, I want to thank and remember my parents and my brother. And my friend Stokes. I want to thank members and executive for the Sanusha Labour Party and Team Labour 2021. <clears throat> I want to thank Sir Julian Hunt and Tom Walcott. I also want to thank Dr. Kenny Anthony. And all the people who really believed in me and encouraged me, even when it seemed that I would never make it. I want to mention Leo Clark of the San Jose Labor Party. And my colleagues, Lauren Theophilus, <clears throat> and the, the leadership of the St. Lucia Labour Party. I would like to express my most profound gratitude to you and the residents and citizens of this beautiful land who have honored your sacred obligation in our democratic society by exercising your franchise. You went out and peaceably registered your voice, not only in support for me, but for the party, the St. Lucia Labour Party. But against the things you thought were wrong about the direction we were heading. Naturally, not all of you voted for me and my party. 
Some of you did not, for whatever reason, share our views on the direction we should be heading. Thankfully, the majority were of a particular view, and that is, the country needed to be rescued from the abyss into which it was plunging. The majority of you accepted my offer to lead that rescue mission. So I offered to do so with a team of 15 men and women representing an excellent blend of experience and youthful energy. The full rescue team also includes you, the people. As Prime Minister, I promise to be Prime Minister not for some of the people, but for all the people. The St. Lucia Labour Party has won the general election. However, we now have to manage an inclusive, equitable, and just society. I believe that our island can be one where dignity of the human person is preserved and respected, where our citizens are treated equally and given the opportunity to grow and achieve their full potential, where the poor and less fortunate and vulnerable members of our society are protected and assisted by the government to achieve a decent quality of life, where human rights of all are guaranteed by the government to all citizens, where there is equal economic opportunity for all and the resources of the state are used to benefit the majority of the people since there can be no economy without people. Where all citizens can discuss freely the economic, political, and social affairs in the country, free from political victimization and retribution. Where our patrimony is respected and our environment preserved. In the coming days, I shall be announcing my cabinet of ministers to manage the affairs of the country. I ask all those serving on the boards and statutory bodies to prepare reports on their tenure so that there can be a smooth transition. My sisters and brothers, this is the start of a new beginning for our country. As your servant leader, I shall serve all the citizens, citizens of the country regardless of their social class or station in life. The task ahead will not be easy, but together with my team of able and experienced men and women, we will, we will deliver to the people of St. Lucia. I ask for your patience in the coming weeks and months as we try to assess the state of the country's financing and capacity to deliver as early as possible the commitment made to the people of St. Lucia. St. Lucia, we cannot fail. I will not fail you. I thank you for the opportunity to serve. I won't do it alone. <coughs> I will seek the counsel of the wise. And if you stand firm with me together, we shall not fail. Allow me to end with a quote from Nelson Mandela. I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. I reaffirm my pledge to put you, the people first. Together, our island will prosper. I thank you.